former U Albany football standout, and uh, he played at the next level in the National Football League. Rashad Barksdale, one of our one of our big names here in the Capital Region and doing great things and giving back to the community in so many ways. And uh, he's got a foundation called It's Okay to Dream Foundation. And he's got uh, a big weekend coming up uh, with the Capital District Sport and Fitness. will have its grand opening this Saturday. And Rashad joins us here on Big Board Sports to talk all about that. Hey, Rashad, Roger Weiland, Chris Honorado, Brian Mariano, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. How you doing? Morning, We're good, Rashad. man. Appreciate a few minutes, and uh, always, yeah. always good to talk to you. Let's get right to it, though. Uh, tell us about the big weekend uh, on Saturday with the Capital District Sport and Fitness, and how our uh, listeners would want to get involved in what you're doing. Yeah, so um, this Saturday, you know, uh, Mike, uh, one of the owners, he uh, got in contact with me. You know, and uh, he was looking, he was looking for somehow some way to give back to the community, and. Um, Justin Brantley, uh, one of my good friends from Hudson, put us in contact with one another, and we kind of figured out a way to uh, help each other out. Um, you know, he's got a grand opening coming coming uh, coming in uh, Saturday for his gym, and uh, he was looking for someone to just come and speak with the kids. So I said, "Why not? I'm going to be in town any weekend. I'm in anyway. I actually have. Um, we talk about a big weekend. Um, all the things I've done in my life." I got asked to be the commencement speaker at Hudson High School graduation tomorrow, so nice. that's why I'm in town. So um, I, I got a really big week of planning. But, uh, yeah, for Saturday, I'm looking forward to um, helping them celebrate the grand opening. And uh, I'll be there at 11 o'clock. May even get there a little bit earlier to try to work out with some of the guys. But uh, we're really really looking forward to it. And, and this, by the way, just to get the location right, this is up in Round Lake, right? For sure? Yes, correct. I had to I had to ask him more around Lake Cliff. I never heard of it, so <laughs> I figured it was like something about Clifton Park area. You got it in between, yeah, Clifton Park and Malta. Rashad Barksdale's with us here on Big Board Sports, one hundred four five, the team, ESPN Radio, Capital District Sport and Fitness is opening this weekend, and here's where Rashad comes in. In addition to speaking to some of the kids, motivating them, uh, there are various hour long classes offered throughout the day on Saturday, and all it would take to join one of these classes is a minimum $5 donation, and those donations will go towards Rashad's It's Okay to Dream Foundation. Rashad, for the people for people who don't know, talk to us a little bit about your foundation and how you are able to give back. I know you said Mike and Dan with uh, Capital District Sport and Fitness wanted to give back, but y- how your fin- foundation gives yeah. back. Uh, so my foundation, as you stated, is called It's Okay to Dream Foundation, where uh, we primarily... Um, create scholarships for kids headed into uh, college. Um, right now, it's just solely Hudson High School kids, but at some point, I'm looking to broaden that and spread out more scholarships throughout the area. So, um, you know, by them giving back, you know, to my foundation is allowing us to just possibly create more um, scholarships. Um, we also do various other things with Christmas giveaways, Thanksgiving dinners, um, donate back to you know different schools throughout the area um with sports um really looking to you know sports has always been a part of my life so i'm looking forward to making that next step and start uh, giving back and assisting in the academic aspect of uh of schools Rashad, when did you, uh, in terms of your foundation, when did you decide this is what you wanted to put this foundation together? Because you've got, your resume is is impressive. Uh, if, if you were dreaming, uh, a lot of your dreams came true, man. You had a great, great career at Hudson High School and played basketball, football, baseball. Uh, we mm-hmm. know what you did at the University of Albany. I had a chance to call many of, of your games on the football field. That translated into... Uh, success in the NFL in 2007. Uh, you were a six-round pick by the Philadelphia Eagles. And you are today the first player in Albany history to be named to a 53-man roster and play in an NFL game. So uh, a lot of your dreams came true. And is that is that part of the uh, the, the connection here with, with your foundation? Yeah, um, it was actually, I think it was my last year playing um, where I started coming up with the idea where I just saw a lot of other teammates that had foundations and they were giving back to different organizations. So, you know, I said, you know, I told myself I have to do something. I'm in a position to create a, a foundation where I can give back to a 
community. So um, the the way I came up with the name was I found out. Well, I always found my way. Found myself uh, writing that down uh, when I would sign autographs, like "It's okay to dream," mm. um, and I just kept writing and writing it. So I need to, you know, make something of this. And you know, so many, so many kids. Um, they have dreams, but they're, they're afraid to dream of those dreams because they're they don't really necessarily think it's gonna happen. And I mean, I could be the first to tell you that I never thought I would play professional football from simply because upstate New York uh, football is you know not too many people come out of the area. So that was one thing that was against me. I thought, hey, no one, no one's gonna come watch upstate football. Um, you know, in, in New York, it's going to be hard to get drafted. It's going to be hard to do that. So that's why I went to the baseball route. Um, I had a better opportunity to do baseball. So I was the first one that kind of just, you know, I, I questioned my own dream. And I, I wanted to play football my whole life, but I thought there was no way that it was going to happen because you didn't see it happening too often in this area. Well, it did happen for you. You had you had, a, you had a great run, and and you are giving back to the community, and you will be giving back uh, this Saturday. Capital District Sports and Fitness will have its grand opening. What time are you going to be there in in Round Lake on, on Saturday, Rashard? Um, I will be there at eleven o'clock. Okay. Yeah, eleven o'clock. I may try to get there a little bit earlier. Like I said, to try uh, try to work out and connect with some of the kids, and you know, speak with Michael a little bit more. Uh, him and I, we've just been talking through the phone. We actually never met in person, so I'm looking forward to meeting him and um, his crew that he has up there because uh, I, I remember when he first started talking and they were just putting this thing together, and, and I've been following and you know looking at his pictures, and it looks like they have a great venue up there. Well, Mike, Mike Serrani is who you're talking about, and Dan Jones, the sports performance and training facility founded by those two. Uh, $5 minimum donation required for each class, and the grand opening is from 9 until 4.30. And if you want to meet and greet with uh, Rashad Barksdale, one of our local sports celebrities here in the Capital Region, you can do that right around the 11 o'clock hour. Rashad, we appreciate you coming on Big Board Sports this morning. Uh, always enjoy uh, what you have next. Next on your calendar, uh, we enjoy the It's Okay to Dream Foundation, and we'll we'll support you and help you out in any way we can, Richard. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys having me on again. Thank you, Richard. I appreciate it, Richard Barksdale, back with us here on Big Board Sports 104.5 A Team ESPN Radio. Is a good football player over mm-hmm. you, Albany.